Monomohun Ghosh Bengali, Manamohana Gosa Manmohan Ghosh also spelt Manomohun Ghosh, Manmohan Ghosh the 13th of March 1844 to the 16th of October 1896 was the first practicing barrister of Indian origin. He is notable for his contributions towards the fields of women's education, for arousing the patriotic feeling of his countrymen and for being one of the earliest persons in the country in organized national politics. At the same time his anglicized habits often made him a target of ridicule in Calcutta. <laughs> Formative years He was the son of Ramlakhan Ghose, of Bikrampur now Munchaganj in Bangladesh. His father was a renowned sub-judge and a patriot, and had acquired his broad frame of mind from Ram Mohan Roy, when he came in contact with him, as a child Ghose lived with his father in Krishnanagar and passed the entrance examination school leaving or university entrance in 1859 from Krishnagar Government College. In 1858, he was married to Swarnalata, daughter of Shaima Sharan Roy of Taki Sripur in 24 Parganas. While he was still at school, the Indigo movement was raging. He wrote an article against Indigo merchants and sent it for publication in the Hindu Patriot, but the same could not be published owing to the untimely death of its editor, Harish Chandra Mukherjee. He joined Presidency College in 1861 and while a student there, he developed a friendship with Keshub Chunder Senator together they started the Indian Mirror. In 1862, he and Satendranath Tagore were the first two Indians to sail to England to prepare for and appear in the Indian civil service examinations. The competition was one of the stiffest, if not the stiffest, in the world at that time, but more so because any plan to cross the seas and travel to Europe was bound to meet with the strongest opposition from the Indian society. Preparations for the examination was tough, as they had to pick up many subjects not taught in India. Moreover, Goes was subject to racial discrimination. The examination schedules and syllabus were altered. He sat for the examinations twice but failed to succeed. Satendranath Tagore went through and became the first Indian to join the ICS, while in England, he extended support to the fellow Kolkata poet Michael Madhusudan Dutta who was going through difficult times in England. Barrister and anglicized Indian Manomohun Goes was called to the bar from Lincoln's Inn. After being called to the English bar, Goes returned to India in 1866. At that time his father died and he started practicing as a barrister in Calcutta High Court in 1867. He was the first Indian barrister to practice in Calcutta High Court. Nanandramohan Tagore was the first Indian to have been called to the bar in England in 1862 and Manomohun Goes is disputed to be the second Indian to be called in 1866. However, Middle Temple confirms that the first Indian to be called to the bar was Badruddin Tayabji. Tayabji is also the first Indian barrister who completed his high school in UK. After learning Urdu and Persian at Dada Makras Madrasa, he joined Elphinstone Institution after which he was sent to France for eye treatment following which he joined Newbury High Park College in London at the age of 16. Three, he passed the London matriculation and joined the Middle Temple. Nanandramo and Tagore never practiced in Calcutta High Court before departing permanently for England, and as such goes is considered the first practicing Indian barrister, his talents were immediately recognized and within a short period he made his mark as a criminal lawyer. In numerous cases he exposed the character of the British ruling elite and protected the subjects who were not guilty. On return from England, one of the first things he did was to put his wife in charge of the nuns at Loreto Convent, for her education. It was only after his wife had completed her education that he settled down to family life. While in England, Goes yearned for the Bengali staple food, makar hall and bot, fish curry and rice, but back home he took on all the characteristics of an anglicized Indian in defiance of opposition from the family and society. In later years, whenever the local press sought to criticize the denationalized Indian, Goes invariably became the primary target of ridicule. In spite of the fact that he was close to the Tagore family, who were leaders in upholding Indian culture and heritage while keeping their doors open to the world, and was a personal friend of Satendranath Tagore, he was inclined towards westernization. While Satendranath Tagore's wife, Ganadanandini Devi, struck to wearing the traditional Indian sari, Goza's wife, Swarnalada, took to wearing the gown, in the style of English women. Contribution in the field of women's education 
Goes will long be remembered for his contributions towards the improvement of the position of his countrymen, particularly in the field of women's education, apart from donating his house for the building of Krishnagar Collegiate School. He had befriended the Unitarian reformer, Mary Carpenter, during his stay in England, 1862–1866. When she visited Kolkata in 1869 with a definite scheme for promoting women's education, Goes was among her most ardent supporters. She succeeded in setting up a normal school for training teachers under the Indian Reform Association led by Keshub Chunder Senator during his stay in England he had befriended another Unitarian, Annette Aykroyd. On arrival at Kolkata with the objective of promoting women's education, in October 1872, she was a house guest of Goes and his wife. While Swarnalada, Goza's wife, impressed Annette Aykroyd, she was shocked when she met Keshub Chunder Sen's unemancipated Hindu wife. He was associated with Hindu Mahila Vidyalaya and after Annette Aykroyd was married, with the revival of the school as Banga Mahila Vidyalaya. Finally, he played a leading role in the amalgamation of Banga Mahila Vidyalaya with Bethune School. By the time Manomohun Goes died the institution had already turned, under his secretaryship, into a center of higher studies where girls could read up to the postgraduate level. <laughs> Politics When the Indian Association was established in 1876 he was one of the advisors. Numerous meetings with Surendranath Banerjee, Ananda Mohan Bose and others attending were held in his house. He was one of the founders of the Indian National Congress established in 1885 and was chairman of the reception committee of its session held at Kolkata in 1890. He fought hard for separation of the judiciary from the administration and wrote the book Administration of Justice in India. He fought the practice of child marriage and supported an 1891 bill requiring consent in marriage. Right from 1869, he delivered speeches at various places arousing the patriotic feelings of his countrymen. In 1885, he went to England and lectured at various places, enlightening people there about the state of affairs in his home country. Satendranath Tagore's house on Park Street after his retirement was a meeting place for important people of the age in Kolkata. Goes joined Taraknath Palat, Satendra Prasano Sinha, Umesh Banerjee, Krishna Govinda Gupta, and Bihari Lal Gupta, as a regular visitor. In 